Hi everybody, this is Linda and welcome back to my kitchen, Hands That Cook. Today we're going to make some simple and easy potato salad. I've told you all before I don't make good potato salad. But I've made this recipe before and it's very good. It'll be easy for Memorial Day, 4th of July, any family get together or just for yourself. So. This is a 32 ounce bag. The recipe called for southern hash brown diced potatoes, but I didn't find any. I just found these diced hash brown potatoes. And you need a 32 ounce bag. And you're going to put them in this bowl. If there's any clump together, get them, <clears throat> get them separated. And into that, You're going to add a quarter of a cup of just water. Now I'm going to cover this real tightly with uh, a plastic wrap and I'm going to put it in the microwave for 15 to 20 minutes or until it gets hot and totally thawed out. And you're going to halfway through you're going to stir it. So I'll bring you back. Right, we're back. I microwaved mine a total of 16 minutes and uh, I stirred it halfway through at 8 minutes. I took it out and stirred it and it is totally hot and cooked. Now while that was cooking I whisked together two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Don't use white. Two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, one tablespoon of yellow mustard like you would put on a hot dog, a teaspoon and a half of salt, and a quarter of a teaspoon of pepper. And I whisked all that together and it took a whisk to get that mustard to mix. And this is going in this potato salad. Well, what's going to be potato salad? It's not potato salad yet. Now, this isn't something that you can make the day of unless you get up mighty early. Because... Um, this has got to go in the refrigerator covered until it's totally cool. So I'm mixing this together. And I'm being a little careful because it's hot and I don't want it all to crush up. I'm going to cover it again and I'm going to leave it in the refrigerator probably about five or six hours but if you want to make it do this the night before you can and just leave it in there all night so this is our next step all right i'm going to cover it up put it in the fridge and we'll be back sorry about that all right, our, our um, potatoes are in the refrigerator cooling. And while they're cooling, I went ahead and mixed this up. I'm trying to get ahead of myself so that I don't have as much to do on a holiday or when I'm having company. And this is four chopped hard-boiled eggs one cup of mayonnaise, a third of a cup of chopped onions, and a half a cup of um, chopped celery. And I mixed it all together. And I just got it sitting in the refrigerator um, till my potatoes are ready. So we'll be back when everything gets ready. 
All right, we're back. And my potatoes are totally cool. It took between five and six hours in the fridge. And if you have glass shelves, be sure and put it on a, put your hot bowl on a towel or a um, pot holder or something to absorb some of the heat because you don't want to crack your your shelves your shelving all right now remember this is the stuff this is the mixture that I had done earlier which is one cup of mayonnaise four chopped hard boiled, boiled eggs a half a cup of celery and um, a third of a cup of onions and I'm gonna pour it in it's been in the fridge too so it's good and cold I'm gonna put this in here as well start mixing it in Sam's here to taste it I sure am I love potato salad good potato salad well I hope you like this you've had it before but it's been a long time now, my mother made good potato salad. Did she? Well, you ate it. You ought to know. <laughs> I don't remember. I didn't like that dark spot, so I took it out. Just a potato skin, probably. Well, this wasn't supposed to have any, but it did have a few, y'all. Welcome to all my new subs and my old ones, my loyal standby subs. I'm trying to get this mixed in. I'll write this recipe down below and the way I mixed it up because it's easier and it wasn't in the uh, original directions. This was a Pillsbury favorite recipe. All right. I think I got it pretty well mixed in here now. And I'm going to give him a small bowl. Now, I put some um, paprika on top, and I'll do that after I give him his portion. You want a fork or a spoon, Sam? Fork. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'm right here. Uh, <laughs> oh, it shouldn't need any salt or pepper. Well, uh, it's right here if you need it. Hmm. All right, hang on now. Let me get over there. Tell me what you think. Now you all, if you all want relishes in here, sweet or dill, you can add them at this time. The last time I made it, I made it just like this, and I liked it, but he may not. I, <laughs> it's hard to talk while you're eating. Well, it sure tastes good. I don't know what all was in it, but I can taste some potatoes. Mmm. <laughs> that tastes a lot like my mother's. Does it? Mmm. -hmm. Quite honestly, it's delicious. It really is. 
And you didn't add any relish? No. Hmm. The actual, the recipe didn't call for any. Well, no, I don't think you need any according to the way it tastes. Seriously, this is good, as good a potato salad I've ever eaten. You don't want me to add any sweet sweet relish or dill relish? Or? No, I wouldn't. I don't think it needs it. I mean, I don't think it could taste much better if, or any better. Well, all right. I like the celery and onions, potatoes. Very good. Yeah. If y'all try this and make it and taste it, you know, before you add any relishes, you may decide you don't need it. <laughs> I got to say one more thing before I go. Mm -hmm. I was in there watching the news tonight. And somebody had pickpocketed a dwarf. And for the life of me, I can't imagine how anybody could stoop that low. <laughs> I mean, that is low, isn't it? <laughs> it is. But you know the way the news is today. Yeah, that's great. I think you've got my mother's recipe. <laughs> Are you going to add some relish? To mine, I am. Just because I want to see what it tastes like. Did you taste it before? before yeah, you... I did. I had a little bite of it. Well, all right, guys. This will be perfect for Memorial Day. It's easy. Oh, and, uh, yeah, it go great with barbecue ribs, pork chops, anything. Chicken, barbecue Ch chicken. Anything on the grill. Baked beans. Yeah anything so you all try this because you will like it i promise you you'll like it it was a surprise to me the first time i made it uh, as how good it was so um i'll put the recipe down below for you let me see if i can and you can add a little paprika on top to make it pretty can't you yeah, I was going to do that right now. But I go, the taste is what matters to me. Here we go. Here's a little bit of smoked paprika. Let me get back over here. This is smoked paprika. It's not hot paprika, it's just smoked. And that'll finish it off. And you'll have a beautiful potato salad. And if you've got more guests than this, uh, double it. Won't hurt a thing. So I want to thank all of you for spending part of your day with me. It means a lot. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like the recipe. And subscribe if you haven't. And hit that bell that comes up. And you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. So, until next time, you all take care. And God bless every one of you.